Moscow, we started our program in 2005, and since then we have provided more than 2,000 transplantations for different variants of autoimmune diseases, but mainly for multiple sclerosis. When many people think of multiple sclerosis, they think of a painful, lifelong disability, where a person's nervous system is under attack by their own immune system. The nerves cannot conduct messages to and from the brain properly. This leads to many sensory, motor, and cognitive issues, inevitably bringing the patient into a wheelchair. This is normal nerve cell. In case of multiple sclerosis, immune system starts to make a mistake and instead of protection our body from viruses, bacteria and from infections, start to attack nerve cells. These cells attack myelin sheet. Finally, it causes to disability and lots of troubling symptoms and to decreasing in patients' quality of life. Although considered incurable, in some cases, multiple sclerosis can be slowed down or even stopped by rebooting the patient's immune system. Russia's Pirogov Center is one of the world's pioneer hospitals performing this innovative and highly promising hematopoietic stem cell transplantation treatment for MS. The idea is to remove bad immune system and to build new one which is healthy. Hematopoietic stem cells are found in bone marrow and produce all types of blood cells, including those for the immune system. Unlike other conditions, MS patients don't need a donor. Their own stem cells are used for the treatment. This is one of our stem cells machine. And today, Abdurrahman have a day of stem cells collection. We need to get at least then 2 million stem cells per kilogram. Abdurrahman, how are you? Okay, great. The first stage is collection stem cells. Then we provide deep freezing of these cells. We store in special uh, cryobanks. And the second stage is high dose chemotherapy, or in other words, high dose immunosuppressive therapy to remove wrong immune system. Then stem cell reinfusion, recovery period when patient has to be in special rooms with sterile conditions and early or late post-transplant rehabilitation. Peter van Strahlen from the Netherlands had been suffering multiple sclerosis for over 22 years. Now, after going through high-dose chemotherapy and having his malfunctioning immune system destroyed, Peter is getting his stem cells back. My uh, arm tinsels, my leg tinsels, and my uh, vision was double. I came here and uh, I have to start some experiments to, uh, to see if my body can handle. Uh, it was MRE, uh, X-ray, everything. And at that moment, uh, Dr. Copain come com to me and said, Peter, uh, it's okay, your body can do it, and you're at the right time, at the right place, because if you didn't came to this hospital, then you would be uh, uh, bad laying down and you can do nothing anymore. Peter? This is your stem cells. Now it's frozen. We need to get the like temperature of your body. As I have viewed a lot of hospitals in the world, uh, I think that uh, Moscow has the best facilities. Hematopoietic stem cell transplantation for the treatment of multiple sclerosis has been studied since the 1990s. 
In many countries, however, research and development of this method have not progressed beyond the clinical trial stage, and therefore is barely accessible to patients. The Pirogov Center is one of the few medical institutions around the globe that has successfully adopted this method into clinical practice and is endorsed by a significant case portfolio. The success rate of this treatment is around 90% for early stage of relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis for uh, moderate or advanced disease success rate is less and for progressive variant is around 60-70%. So, but uh, the idea to provide this treatment as soon as possible to reach the maximal effectiveness. Linda Hogue, a former surgical nurse from Scotland, came to Russia in a desperate bid to stop the progression of her multiple sclerosis. The disease had cost her her job, and by the time she began her treatment, was threatening her family bliss. Now Linda's treatment is complete, and soon she'll be heading back home. My first symptoms as a theater nurse, I started to just drop final instruments and I knew something was wrong. Then I started to trip and then I referred myself to the doctor and two years later I got a diagnosis. How has the treatment changed my life? It's, um, it's given me back a life. It's, um, my children are a lot more optimistic. They see a future for us as a family. We can do things together as a family again. Though no existing treatment can cure multiple sclerosis completely, studies strongly suggest that hematopoietic stem cell transplantation can reduce or even eliminate ongoing clinical relapses. In 2011, this beautiful young lady from Moscow was diagnosed with MS. Shortly after receiving her treatment at the Pirogov Center, she joined their hematology division as an administrator. With almost a decade without relapses, Anastasia feels great and is doing her best to help others take advantage of their chance for a better life. At first, it changed my private life. Of course, I can have normal life, healthy life. I don't feel any symptoms of MS. I can plan my life for future many, many years. And the second important part that I have a wonderful job when I feel that my life is important, I do something helpful. What I do, it's all organization questions, uh, preparation, invitation for our patients, because mostly I work with international patients and supervise their treatment here with medications, infusions, any usual questions, so I'm like a big mom here for them. <laughs> With state-of-the-art equipment and a team of world-renowned doctors, the Pirogov Center welcomes patients with multiple sclerosis from all over the world to symbolize their successful treatment and the beginning of a new life. Every patient gets a symbolic blue iris pin upon their transplantation. Dr. Fedorenko says we're all part of the team now, the team that cordially fights this disease together.